Talking of Harry and Meghan, again, back to the beginning, Duke and Duchess of Sussex. How do you see this uh, marriage playing out? Because when, obviously, there was a huge amount of stress when they moved to America and there was constant, you know, rumours that maybe it might not work out, but they're still going strong. You know, we, as I say, we spoke earlier about they, they've still got uh, plans that they're both working on for new Netflix shows, so they've still got ideas. Um, are you surprised that um, you know, the naysayers have been proved wrong, that they, the marriage still is, they, they still are together and they still are living in California? And how do you see this marriage plan? Will we have a 25th wedding anniversary or a 19th uh, wedding anniversary as we do with the King and Queen, with, with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? I really don't know that. But I mean, everyone said, oh, this marriage isn't going to last. You're right, they did. But you know, Matt, you know a little bit about this because you've been out in California. I, I, I think... My opinion, and I think I'm still, I think Harry has, has got an obsessive love for Meghan. And I, I don't think he would ever, ever leave her. I, I, and, you know, she's, she's in control. And as long as she remains in control, I think she's happy. So I think the marriage is probably, I think they're very happy. And who wouldn't be happy living in that gorgeous house? As that, you know, they've got two lovely children. Um, they don't. I mean, I know they're not popular in this country, but does that really worry them? I don't know. What do you think, Matt? Well, no, you're right. I did go to um, California last summer because there was lots of uh, reports and lots of rumours that, that, you know, there was, there was trouble in paradise. So uh, there was lots of online uh, comments, lots of people on, on Twitter and stuff like that. So we did look into it and all we could fathom out was that the, there were just lots of claims. So it was always the case with rumours, where you hear rumours, but once you actually dig into it, there didn't seem to be any... A uh, real kind of key source that could, could say Harry was there's always rumours that Harry was staying in a hotel here. Yes, and that was, was very strange. Yeah. But it but it, it really did snowball, and a lot of people were talking about it. So we did we, I did pop out and have a little look, and I couldn't really find any evidence of that. And it was pointed out that they have a huge, um, a huge sprawling mansion with guest houses. So if the what if they did want to live apart, they could just live apart on the uh, on the house. But I found no evidence of them living apart. What I was told was that. Just like any kind of normal marriage, they um, have arguments or disagreements about how to bring up the children. Um, yeah. Megan wants to um, the children to have more of a kind of life in California. He wants them to see, wants them to be more visible, whereas the whereas Prince Harry, it's what I was told, was uh, more worried about them getting photographed. Doesn't want them to you know to to be taken pictures by the paparazzi. It's Harry's like that. really paranoid about yeah. that, isn't he? Um, but of course, the sad thing is that, that they they are not getting to know their cousins or their grandfather. They're great. They're yeah, um, and I think that's very sad. And I may, I don't know what will happen. But you see, I think that when when Archie is older, he's going to he's going to want to know his cousins, and they're certainly going to want to know him because he's a he's going to be very glamorous, a really cool Californian kid. And they're desperately going to want to know them and said they're going to want to go there and see them. So anything could happen. Do you think, um, just thinking, we've got uh, at the end of May, I think we've got the Invictus ceremony at St Paul's. Um, so there's a 10 year anniversary. Um, that, so I've asked, uh, will, will, will the Duke and Duchess of Sussex come? And they haven't finalised their plans yet. Um, do you think Harry and Meghan will attend? They could bring their children. That would be quite a quite a uh, momentous occasion <laughs> they really bring their children the first time since Platinum Jubilee, get to meet the King and stuff like that. Would you, would, do you think people will welcome them to come for this 10 year an anniversary of Invictus? Um, I think they desperately want Harry there. And of course, people are fascinated. We haven't seen the children. Well, and that's certainly over here, we, we haven't seen what the, I think people would be absolutely fascinated. And certainly it would be nice for King Charles to see them, but apparently, Harry won't come here unless he's given an absolute guarantee that he's going to have uh, uh, royal security, not just metropolitan police security, royal security, and that um, his, his business with the Home Office is going to be sorted out. But you can't make demands on, on His Majesty's government like that. So I don't know what will happen. I mean, maybe that's another rumour. Another rumour. But it makes sort of sense, doesn't it?